Welcome to this tutorial. This tutorial is a basic platform tutorial which looks at how a character can move throughout a screen and certain worlds to get certain objectives or collect certain things. Now what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be adding ourselves a new room. We'll just leave it as a fairly standard room with a 16 by 16 snap and we can just tick the green box. And as well as that I've set up for myself two sprites. Now we've got a block sprite which is like our wall and a monster sprite. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put some gravity onto our monster so that he can actually jump around the screen. So as he jumps there's a bit of gravity and brings him down and he obviously has to leap over certain gaps and enemies and get to the edge of the other side of the screen. So the first thing we need to do is we need to create two objects first object is going to be based on the wall sprite and that's just going to be called object underscore wall now this is going to have absolutely no events and no actions but it's going to be the wall in our game that the monster obviously has to jump over or um, if it collides into it stops so we can click OK and so I want you to make a new object and this object is going to be based on our monster so we call it object underscore monster and what we're doing is we're going to create a couple of events the first one I want you to do is for the keyboard left so go up and find left and there's two little actions that we're going to put in the first one is if a position is collision free now that is here under control and so we drag that across and we're going to put these values in. For x we're going to have minus 4. For y we're just going to leave it as 0. And objects it's going to be only solid. And so we click OK on that. Then what we're going to do is we're going to jump to a given position. So we've done this one many times before. And we're just going to have x equals minus 4 and y equals zero but we tick the relative box so what we're saying is if there's nothing in its way we're going to allow our monster to move four little spots to the left now we need to set one up for keyboard right as well so click on that now what you can do is just copy holding shift control C control V these two actions and just change them slightly so x instead of being minus 4 because we want it to go to the right is just plus 4 so normal 4 and jump to a given position also becomes 4 and we leave it on relative so now we're saying if there's nothing in its way and there's nothing else going to collide into let it move 4 little spots to the right the next thing that we need to do is we're going to set some gravity so we go to add event and we want to have a step event now we need to find the exclamation mark and write in a bit of code. So our code is to check whether it is in the air. So we type that in. Check whether in the air. And tick OK. We then need to find if it's collision free. So we put that across. And we just have Y set as 1. So if there's nothing above it, one space, it's allowed to move up. And we leave objects only solid and we tick relative. The next thing we need to do is set the gravity. So we go to the move toolbar and we find set the gravity. We set the direction to 270 degrees, which means it just goes down. And the gravity we want to set at 0.5 and we tick OK. The next command we want to set in is also a variable and it's the else code so we want to bring this in so if that doesn't happen this variable here we want something else to happen so we put in another little bit of code that says limit the vertical speed like so. We now need to set ourselves two last variables so we drag this one across and this variable is going to be v speed which means vertical speed now our value is going to be 12 and we're going to say larger than so if the vertical speed builds up to larger than 12 
we want to stop that and set it at a variable. And we want to set that variable at a vertical speed of 12, so it just remains a constant. So you type that in, tick OK. Now the last thing we need to do is add an event for up. So we go to keyboard, we press up, and we need to see if there's a collision at a position. So we take this question, we put it across, under Y we put 1, still leave it with only solid objects and relative. So if there is a collision when we're trying to jump up, we want it to bump, so we want our monster to bump into the block and then come back down. So we need then to set the vertical speed under move, drag it across and set it to minus 10. So if we jump up and we bump into something, we fall back down and we tick OK. We then need to add our monster and our blocks into our room. So we put our monster in, we can also put the walls in and we can create some shapes. As you can see, it can be quite tricky sometimes. Tick OK. And the last thing that we then need to do is make sure that our wall is both visible and solid. So tick on the solid and save your changes. One other thing that I almost forgot to do as well is just in the object monster where we've set our gravity we need to copy and paste that command and put it under the else command. And in this one we just set our gravity to zero and click OK.